By now, it's happened to all of us. Your computer crashes. Although you've managed to save some files either to the cloud or external storage, you lose most of the hard work and files that you've saved on your hard drive. You can never get it back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about ways you can protect all of your images and hard work in Lightroom from things such as a computer crash or even theft. We'll discuss backing up files, exporting metadata, exporting images, and using and creating export presets. Can you even imagine losing your Lightroom catalog? Even if you manage to save all of your images on an external storage device, losing the catalog would be devastating. Remember, the catalog not only lists your images, it also lists all the adjustments and changes that you've made to them. It also contains all of your metadata for each image. Backing up your catalog helps to ensure that all of your hard work will be safe in the event of data loss. You can schedule backup so Lightroom does it for you automatically, and you don't have to worry about it. To back up your catalog, go to Edit Catalog Settings on a PC and Lightroom Catalog Settings on a Mac. You'll then see the Catalog Settings dialog box. Under the General tab, go to the Backup section and set the frequency for your automatic backups. Now exit out of Lightroom. You'll then see the Backup Catalog dialog box. Choose a location where the backup will be stored by clicking on the Choose button. Put a check mark beside Test Integrity before backing up and Optimize Catalog after backing up. When you're finished, click the Backup button. It's important to export the catalog file's content so that you minimize the damage done if your catalog file is lost or damaged. When you make a change to the metadata of an image or a group of images, you'll see an icon in the upper right-hand corner of the image in grid view. It's a white downward arrow. If you don't see the icon, go to View, View Options, and the Library module. Go to the Grid View tab and then put a check mark beside Unsaved Metadata in the Cell Icon section. Close the dialog box. Now select an image in the grid that has unsaved metadata. Right-click it and then go to Metadata, Save Metadata to File. Click the Continue button. The icon will disappear from the image. In the last section, you backed up your catalog file without the images. However, when you choose to export images as a catalog, Lightroom allows you to make copies of master files and previews. In addition, you can export all images or just some of them. To export images, go to the Catalog panel in the Library module. Select All Photographs and then go to File Export as Catalog. Choose a location to store the files and then enter a file name. At the bottom of the dialog box, put check marks next to what you want to export. Click the Save button when you're finished. You'll be able to open this catalog in Lightroom. In the last section, we talked about exporting images that can later be opened in Lightroom. But what about if you want to export files so that people who don't have Lightroom installed can open them? That's what we're going to talk about next. Let's export an image so that it's in JPEG format and can be opened for viewing on any computer. We'll do this while keeping the settings you've applied to it in Lightroom. First, go to the Folders panel and select a folder. Select the images in the folder that you want to export. Then go to File, Export. You'll then see the Export dialog box. Choose a folder where you want to store the exported file in the Export Location section. You can also choose a subfolder. Do not put a check mark beside Add this to Catalog, but be sure to put a check mark beside Rename to in the File Naming section. Then enter a custom file name. Go to the File Settings section and then the Image Format menu. Select JPEG. The quality value should be set to around 80%. Set the rest of your options in the dialog box and then click the Export button. The JPEG image will be found in the location you chose. You can open it using any image viewing program.
Perhaps you've made color adjustments or tonal changes to an image. You need to work with layers to be able to finish your changes. But to do that, you need to be able to open the editable version of the image in Photoshop. If you want to be able to continue to edit the image in another program, such as Photoshop, you can export images as a PSD or a TIFF file. To do this, select the images you want to export. Go to File, Export. Follow the same steps we covered for JPEG. The only difference is that when you select a file format, you'll choose TIFF or PSD. If you choose TIFF, you can apply zip data compression. This will reduce the file size. Set the rest of your options when you get to the post processing section and decide what will happen after you export the image. You can open the image in another location and continue to edit it if you want. When you're finished, click on the export button. To archive your images, go to File, Export. Leave everything in the export location the same from the last sections, but disable the file renaming option. Next, go to the File Settings section. Select Original from the menu. Go to the Post Processing section and select Show in Explorer on a PC and Show in Finder on a Mac. You'll find this in the After Export menu. Then click the Export button. An XMP sidecar file will be saved with the copy of the original image. This stores the edits made to the image as well as the metadata for the image. You can create presets for your exporting tasks to save time and make it easier on you. This is an especially helpful thing to do if you find that you're always exporting JPEG images, but constantly having to adjust the options in the export dialog box to meet your specifications. By creating a preset, all you have to do is select the preset. Your options will be saved with it. In addition to creating your own presets, you can also use presets that Lightroom created for you. To see these presets, go to File, Export. You can see the presets listed on the left side of the dialog box. For example, you can use the preset for email. This preset has a quality setting of 60%, which is less than what we used earlier in the course, but the reason is a smaller file size is preferable for email. To add your own preset, set your options, and then click the Add button below the list of presets. You'll then see the new preset dialog box. Enter a name for your new preset and then click the Create button. It will then appear under User Presets in the Export dialog box. Mm -hmm.